Yeah, um, we have one of the big stars here. He's a DJ. They call him DJ Flash, but DJ Flash, how do you feel right. about you and how did it go in battle to battle on this that politics? First of all, I would like to say thank you for having me on your show. And um, Adley, like, um, how can I picture this? Adley has always been one of our greatest rivals, and they are one of the best teams in Australia. So we play them this coming July 26th. I reckon it's going to be really good. Um, um, take your advice. Um, you see your ball lose again. really good. They got some really talented players and we did our best against them and that's the result of the game. You can't change it. Wow, wow. This is DJ Flex all over, all over Australia. If you know him or you don't know him, this is DJ Flex. The best player, the best DJ in LRB and the best DJ in Australia. Tell me about your DJ why don't forget about the football business. Uh, you know how it is, man. We can't stop the ball from rolling. We're playing soccer, we're playing music. That's how it is. You know, we got to go everywhere. Everywhere that can keep people happy, I'm there. That's why they call me DJ Flex. Okay, DJ Flex, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, last year I went to um, Singapore to play for um, Singapore Armed Forces. Um, the trial went well, but due to some um, um, clearance in from the FFB from Australia, so uh, actually my deal didn't go through, so I had to come back and start from zero again. Oh uh, yeah. Um. So what what are you thinking about doing this year? Are you still thinking about trying? Or? Oh yeah. Um. In life, you never give up. You know? No matter what happens in life, you gotta you know pick up yourself and keep working hard to get there. You know. As I'm speaking to you now, I'm undergoing some intense training with my personal coaches, and then I got some mentor mentoring me as well. Coming to hopefully in June or July in in um, Asia. I won't tell you which part of, um, which part of Asia is that because I'm not sure where I'm going. So I don't know where I'm going to Asia, I'm going to be like, so hopefully you know, first, it will be where I want to go, but you never know in football, you know? So yeah. Uh, um, check with, um, check out. Um, last year you guys won for July 26th and they didn't win, they came back very sad. What do you think about this year? What you guys carry? Uh, you know, it's football, you know, like, sometimes you win some, you lose some, so. We've been winning it for the past few years in a row now, and um, last year we didn't play well. And, you know, we didn't have the, the right preparation for the tournament, and we didn't have that winning mentality in our squad because of so many players and injuries. You know, it was a bad luck for us. But this year we got a you know a very young team that we're building on to actually get to that level. I know it, I'm I'm not saying we're gonna win it, but we're gonna cause some upset in the tournament. Hopefully, hopefully. Before we to the final, but it, it all depends how bad we want it and how bad the coaches and the teams want to play. So it's football, and you never know what will happen. We win at the end of the day. But, you know, it. All right, um, I just spoke to the coach of Adele, and they are training very, 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 very hard. And what you see, you and Adele going like going battle to battle, you know, and in that type of game, you think we're gonna win. Ah, uh, you know, when it comes to football, we got a record over Adelaide, you know, we have beaten them home and away, you know, now one time, twice, and uh, each time, since the history of July 26, um, we only lost to Adelaide once, that was last year in Melbourne, it was a very intense game, a full, full on high intensity, and to go down to Adelaide, you know, it was like, you know, it, it wasn't blazing with me, but it's football, we got accepted. But this year, meeting Adelaide again, I always know that in that tournament, we always meet up Adelaide. So each time we play Adelaide, it gets a lot of motivation for me personally, and I don't know about the boys, but for me personally, it gets it's like a, a rivalry between me and Adelaide. So I don't want to lose to the game, to lose to So we take the game to a level that you know it should be. So it's a good football game to play, and I'm looking forward to that game. Oh, uh, Seko, um, you've been playing professional football, and this guy you are playing with, you guys go for Judah Tennis and all that, they are not playing uh, professional football. How do you cope with them? <laughs> That's a tricky question, you know. So you gotta be patient, you know. Patience is the key to everything, you know. Playing with the guys, some of the boys that are you know, playing higher level, and some of them actually starting to play higher level, for you to be able to cope yourself with them. It comes with a lot of you know, pressure and a lot of have to be like, I gotta 
weight on my shoulder I'm carrying it's like I'm carrying a team on my shoulder I have to make sure I have to be there for them mentally I have to support them on and off the pitch and I also got to guide them how to move on about the game so it's not easy sometimes you come and see the boys are playing and then you see well the kids are doing good but if you only feel I got pressure on my shoulder because I got the coaches looking up to me to make sure that the boys get on the tax that I give to them and it's not easy you know but with hard coaching and hard you know training and um, being there for the boys I think we, we we will do well and they will do well as well. Alright uh, um last year you guys I saw you guys in July Tennessee you guys did well but this year and more people told me that you guys your young players are traveling out of state they are playing for another another uh, another city but what do you think about like the team you have? How do you think about that team winning the Judah Tennessee? Because Pep is waiting for you, Melbourne is waiting for you, uh, Adele is waiting for you, and that game gonna be in Adele home time. So you tell me, you've been defending champ like three or four years. Like I said before, um, it's football, you know, anything can happen in football. It all depends who shows up on that day to play. I know the boys, and I know what we should do. Like and I know with the right training and the right mentality and the right attitude, we can go there and we can defeat Adelaide. Yeah, you know, it's, it's football, you know. It could, it could be a different story on that day because they are a very good side. I have to go highly respect for them. We've got a lot of good players that play top level. Compare that team to my team and they say we on the dog. But like every time we play them, it turned out to be a different story. So hopefully this year as well, we can actually pick it up from what we, we left it last year. You know? Uh, thank you so much for your time, Sego. I wish many, many blessings into your life and your soccer career. Thank you so much for your time. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, that was one of the best thing, one of the best players in Sydney. They call him Sego, and he wishing to go higher level. So, and I be watch out for good, good players in Sydney. You know, we do our thing right here. This is Sydney S. This is Sydney Stadium, and yeah, this is the best player we have in Sydney. So we're going to add it in, add it in this year for Judah Tonnes. It's going to be grand. It's going to be big. It's going to be everything. You know what I mean? And watch out for Adele and watch out for singing, people. This is Yang and TV. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah. Uh, Lawrence, how many games have you been playing for singing? Uh, I'll give you like, um, yeah. 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 I think we're going through like four years. Yeah, so how many games? Uh, all the games. How many games? Going in there. Um, I just feel pretty consistent. Like I feel like pretty much every game. Adelaide or something, maybe they got better players. 